Did you know that Frodo Baggins is actually Michael Jackson? <laughs> Welcome back to As Art with Nick and John. We post three videos a week. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated. You can find all of our links to podcasts and videos at asart.space. Thriller, Michael Jackson <laughs> in the Lord of the Rings universe. How cool is this, huh? <laughs> By complete accident. So if you guys haven't seen the real deep fake, go and check that out. We recasted, according to Brian Seeker's choice, Galadriel. But we accidentally left one frame of Frodo in there. And what happens when you put Galadriel's face on top of Frodo Baggins? You get curly hair. Thrilly eyes. Thriller. thriller. Eyes. Yeah, thriller. Totally thrillized. <laughs> Everything and it but was the cat cool. eyes. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a super fun one. I think that's maybe our favorite feel so far, would you say? Um, I don't know. It was pretty good when we deep faked Frodo's face with uh, Michael Fassbender. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one didn't work out very well. <laughs> that was a good one too, right? That was a good one too. Yeah, the yeah. <laughs> so guys, the, we weren't deep faking Frodo in these videos, but somehow Frodo got deep faked in two of our videos back to back. Yes. We're just like, what the heck, Frodo? Stay out of our deep fake. <laughs> Which we love. So I mean, and the, so the fun thing is, is okay. Can you make? the characters look pretty close to what they're actually supposed to be. But even better is when things go wrong. And if you guys haven't seen the other deep fake fails, our favorite videos, probably <laughs> we yeah. like having good conversations and looking real professional, but we love our, our deep fake fails. So yes, check out the do. other videos. This is kind of a compilation, but yeah, our most recent one is the Frodo thriller. Yes. Michael Jack looks straight out of the eighties. <laughs> and some other fun stuff is we had Mr. Egghead. Yes. <laughs> Conehead, yes. <laughs> who knew that Aragorn, the king, the return of the king, is actually an alien conehead from outer space? <laughs> Especially when you put Michael Fassbender's face on yes, him. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, the so the it's funny because in all these cases we're talking about, they're not really deep fake technology fails. It's just they either look weird, wrong face on the wrong person. Or it just based on the the not the anatomy but the layout proportions it just looks a little bit odd. But the the technology was fine. It picked up on the faces fine. In some cases we maybe could have scaled up the face a little bit more, but I still just think it would have looked yeah. odd in general just because of the way uh, the wig for Vigo's hair was parting. I think probably mm -hmm. is just what it was. But oh my gosh, love. I love our deep fake fails so much. I want more <laughs> fails. We should just do like the things no one wants to see as deep fakes. <laughs> we should make videos of our fails, like full on characters and stuff. <laughs> if you guys have ever seen the video, I think it's called going shopping. Have you ever seen this video? It is no. hilarious. Maybe we can put like a little snippet in, in this video just to get people to watch it. But it's this, it's a CG character walking down the street and it's rigged all funky so it's like all blah, blah, blah. And it's <laughs> it's so it has the subs that are scattered and turned up way too much uh, oh, it's, oh, and it has this like elevated music playing it is hilarious and it's kind of you know it's taking our deep know, take feels to the next level but it's totally, it's my up, favorite like, thing going too, shopping or something yeah when you're doing 3d stuff and 3d animation and the rig breaks Oh my gosh, it's so entertaining when the eyes just like pop and go the other uh, way and just like... <laughs> Bri uh, a, a friend of ours, Brian and, and myself, we were working on this this series and we were trying to combine mo uh, face motion capture with body motion capture. Both worked fine separately. When you combine them together, this guy immediately, the rig just went to Slender Man and went, ah, his eyes popped out, his like shoulders went out. We're like, oh dear God, you know, but we just started <laughs> laughing so hard. Let the power of Christ compel yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Full That's on exorcist stuff. with the head turning around. <laughs> and actually a fun little thing, if you guys, since we're talking about Lord of the Rings, if you guys haven't seen the behind the scenes for Lord mm. of the Rings, look up the Gollum episode because at first Gollum didn't look like Andy Circus. It was mm -hmm. just a, a, a Gollum conception that they had come up with and it looked really yeah. cool. But when they tried to apply his animation, I think it was, or something, they tried to apply the animation to the old rig and his eyes popped out of his head and his hair is all <laughs> over. You, do you remember what I'm talking about? Yes. Or no? Yeah, it, it, it's hilarious. I mean, they're just like, oh my gosh, but they just laughed really, really hard. Really, really good stuff. Lord of the Rings. If you guys enjoy Lord of the Rings, we've been comparing the animation to the live action and that's been so much fun too i don't yeah. want to say fails but there's some weird stuff going on in that animation and I, and I, wouldn't even sure. say, I wouldn't even say compare it's just 
analyzing the unique characteristics of each. I mean, yeah. it's, it's because it's not a fair comparison, but it's fun to see the creative choices, the animated side went, and then also the live action went. And especially what happens when the live when action seems to course. rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> borrow it's borrow <laughs> inspired by inspired there you go bam yeah inspired by but yeah a lot of fun stuff you guys if you like lord of the rings we have plenty of lord of the rings content if you like harry potter there's been a lot of harry potter content if you're a fan of brian seeker if you don't know who brian seeker is check out the card we'll put on the screen now and check out his recastings a lot of our content has been kind of companion pieces for his stuff which has been really fun but a lot of other stuff too we've covered a lot of shows if you guys haven't, especially since if you were still in quarantine when you're watching this, if you haven't seen Watchmen or, or uh, oh, yeah. His Dark Materials or any mm -hmm. of these other shows we've covered, you know, check those out. And we had a lot of fun Westworld. We had a lot of fun talking about those episodes as well. So, and a lot of other stuff coming down the road as well. Maybe some original animation stuff as well. So yes. a lot of fun stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So awesome. check out all that stuff. Check out azart.space for all the audio and video links, of course, on YouTube. Subscribe and you'll be notified every time we post. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you on the next Azart.